door. Stay open. No, 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 no! Ooh. Okay. Okay, we could still get in there. I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, this is where the homeless guy got killed. And he went in that door. So... Where could it be? You know... I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. Hello. Okay. Okay, let us get in to the killer frequency. Alright, enough shenanigans. Sorry, guys. I'm feeling some type of way today, okay? It's Saturday for me. <laughs> I should be in bed, but here I am playing for you guys. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Uh. Oh, we have a call. Shot. Hit the button and take the call. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was dancing. <laughs> Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. And How Dodgy. Are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Woo! Gary! Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. Yeah, of course. You know, even though not everybody made it. Eh. Uh, I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. Yeah, so You're brave. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? After what he did, why let me go? Maybe he saw you as a victim. Maybe he didn't kill you because he saw you as a victim. Maybe. But why would that stop him from killing me too? After everything he did to- These stupid hazing nights have to stop. They really Karen, do. you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest, uh, could I request a song? Of course, yeah, Carrie. Of course. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. Sweet, it's the first one, because otherwise I was going to be uh, struggling there for a bit. Boop. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There yeah. must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. You know what? She is I right. Need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Peggy, that's not you really stretching your legs now, is it? All right, so I am thinking about the reason why the killer spared her. And I think Peggy might actually be onto something because the girl was a victim from like these pranksters, right? Her so-called friends. He spared her. And usually like when we were talking about like horror stuff, like scary, spooky kind of movies, Typically, not typically, I shouldn't say typically, sometimes in the movies, the killer will spare either a person that they consider like a predecessor or perhaps it is actually a ghost and he's only out for blood for those people who did him wrong. Maybe? The problem is we don't know the full backstory of the Whistling Man. We don't know who the Whistling Man was. We don't know anything about this Whistling Man. So there's a lot to consider. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are about this Whistling Man character. All right, Peggy, I think I'm ready. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or Scratch that, Forrest. We have a caller. Oh, we got a caller. 
You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Mm. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Your name mm. was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Uh... You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's... Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest? Mm -hmm. Peggy, I'm I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. Ooh. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> oh no! Well, Forrest, here's some music for you while I think things over. Okay. You'll like this next song. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious mm. about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? We don't. If she's telling the truth... Ah, uh, I kind of want to know. All right, I'll do it. I'll do You're it. A good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Okay. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked. Yeah. It. Uh. You know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. 189.16. The Scream. With me, Peggy. Not with Dodgy. No, no, no. I'm only here with Forrest, okay? I... Hmm. <sighs> now we gotta figure out where the... Uh, yeah, I heard you the first time, so... I'm not getting in there tonight. Okay. <sighs> All right. So the fire door. I'm pretty sure that is upstairs, right? Am I wrong? Is this the fire door? You would think that this is the fire door. Why is this not the fire door? Okay. Well, I was going to say anyways, it would have been weird had they had the fire door upstairs because she threw the record outside. So, yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous about this. Because I'm not 100% sure. Is this the fire door? I'm guessing that's the fire door. Do not disturb. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the fire door. Hello? Hello? Oh! Door! Stay open. Record. No, 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 no! Ooh. Okay. Okay, we could still get in there. Um... I don't see it. Where is it? Oh, 
this is where the homeless guy got killed. And he went in that door. So... Where could it be? You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. Alone. The whistling man was there. He was right outside, bro. Here it is. Long ride home. Okay. 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 We saw him. Of course. It locks behind me. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, this is... Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. This is a, getting... A door, elevator, or something. This is getting better. This is getting better. This is getting so much better. There's this button. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. I just saw him. Definitely not that way. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. What is this? There are these little thingies. And that's broken too. Only the best for KFAM. See if I can fix this. Okay. Looks like a power issue. Okay. I should check the fuse box. Fuse box. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay. Alright. Uh, we need, uh... We... 70. So 70... Do I... Do I... Hold on. Ah! Okay. So that back. Looks like I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Can I drop that? How do we... There we go. Drop that, and drop this. Okay. There's one. Grab that. That's 30. I think I have to make it total up to 70. So 30, 50... Okay. Ooh. No whistling man, right? I saw another fuse. Oh, I don't like this at all. Where was that other fuse? Here. That's another five. That's a five. Hello? Can I grab that one? So we got two fives. Um... There's another five. Okay. Whoa! Okay. That's okay. That's fine. It was just a cat. It was just a cat. That's all it was. This wasn't here before, was it? Okay. Um. I drop that. Grab this one. Okay. Okay. I think. I think we have all the fuses that we need. Right? Because it has to total out to 70. So 30, 60. No. Hmm. Okay. So, 60. And then, oh, we'll remove that one. Drop that. Eh, switch. There we go. 
there. Bingo. Yep. There we go. Got that. Okay. Okay. Hopefully nobody's here. Okay. I could probably survive that fall. I I mean we did. Okay. No whistling, man. It's good. Okay. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Clive. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um... Hello? Okay. I'm gonna shut this. There we go. It looks like Clive has a hidden... Clive has a hidden freaking room? Huh. There's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. What the hell? Yeah. Peggy is not gonna believe this. Yeah. That, uh... That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, got some pictures of people. What does that say? Call for donations to help Chuck Brody. Nope, we're gonna put that back. Power station. Power station, trailer park, gas station, hospital. Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, Aunt Williams, Chuck Brody. None of these names... Unless... Was that one... Was that doctor named Rebecca? I don't know. I don't remember. I want to say it was Rebecca. I'm just making sure nobody's behind me. Festival disaster. Blue for thought. Staff surge at power station. I don't think that's important. I'm not sure if that's important. Hmm. Justice for festival victims. Trailer for sale, cheap. 24-hour gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. Local legend takes to Manhattan. Oh, he did sell it. Cool. Okay, infamous author of tell-all book, Diary of a Car Thief, moves out of Gallows Creek for new life in the big city. We got these mannequins with X's on their eyes. Oh! Yeah. Gotta hit those. Anything in here? Nope. Figured I'd check. Or, I think that was it. I think that's all of the, the notes here. The fact that all of this is in his office, very suspicious. But, here's another thought. Could this be a red herring? Do you think that this janitor is the whistling man killer? Or do you think that this is a red herring? Herring? Red herring. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. I I am very curious to know what you guys are thinking about this. All right. Well, I've had just about all I can stomach with this place. Yeah. Let me just, uh, boop. Okay. I think, uh, I think it's time for us to leave.
Hopefully there's nobody on the other side. Okay, all right, looks clear. Is there anything over here? Just a bunch of nasty trash. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I looked at it and I still jumped, okay. Hmm, I wonder how the show's going. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder how the how the show is going. Oh, which way? I'm, it's either up or not up. This way? That door is locked. Okay, so the only way is up. Can we shut that door? Okay. All right. Nobody's out there, right? Okay. All right. We're on air. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I th thought something had happened. <laughs> something did happen. Yeah. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked up. Okay, so it's already 2.40. All right. We're telling Peggy all the tea, basically. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there? Yeah, fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found mm -hmm. in a creepy basement. Yes. Made by our creepy janitor. Yes. Who you think is the creepy whistling man. Exactly. Bingo. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rebecca Allen, yep. and Aunt Williams. Yeah. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's, Clive's, next target. That's mm. right. Mm. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too? Yes. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Yeah. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. Oh. I do need help because I have no idea. Uh, okay. One person asked to remain anon anonymous. I'm not sure. Peggy, can you help me? How's it going? Uh -huh. Um, I can use some help. Uh, it's not going well. I could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. Yes. There's four locations, right? Yes. And four people. Right. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Uh, yes, please. Sure. I think you should be methodical with this. Okay. Try grouping the notes by who they're about. You could also have a look at the dates and make a timeline. Maybe that will help rule out potential targets first. Got it. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Okay. Oh, God, this is... I feel like... I honestly feel like this is something that I really need to think about, and it's already... Midnight. Ugh. I really, I really, really, really hate to do this, but we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait until tomorrow when we have more time so I can figure out this whole board. Because I don't want to kill another person by mistake. I, I really want to, uh, I really want to sit here and analyze this whole board and everything that's going on with it. This, this is a lot to think about and process. So that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If 
hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and if you are subscribed, please be sure to hit the bell notification that way you are aware of the next time that I post. I love you. Don't forget your boobs. Okay, bye.